At Logic Monitor, we're committed to making data collection as easy as possible, and we've heard from you that log collection with LM logs was not always so simple. I'm proud to announce Log Sources, a new Logic module to configure log collection on a per resource basis. Previously, log collection configurations could only be done at the LM collector, meaning multiple collectors were needed if several log configurations were required. Creating new log sources are available in the LM module toolbox. And when creating a log source, you'll be able to choose from several different log types. We have syslog, Windows events, Kubernetes, scripted log sources, as well as local log file collection, which requires an LM hotel collector. Log sources provides a graphical interface to make it easier to configure log filters, add log fields, and define resource mapping conditions. It is worth noting that log sources can only be applied to LM monitored resources, and that's where you would put it in the applies to, and those resources must be sending logs through an LM collector. All cloud log configurations are handled through the individual cloud service provider integrations provided through LM logs. Each log source uh, type shares a common look and feel, beginning with the applies to at the top, and then specific configuration items such as filters, log fields, and the resource mappings. To configure a filter, we can click on the add filter button. And for this syslog log source, we have specific syslog attributes that we can choose from, as well as different comparison operators, and then the default values. Having these in a dropdown makes it quite easy to configure instead of configuring in a configuration file, which it is prone to errors. The other thing that's worth noting is that with log fields, we are now able to enrich additional metadata on top of the logs that come in. So if I'm going to configure a specific uh, static metadata that I want to add to a log, I can have, say, um, environment, and then the value can be, say, prod. So all logs that come in through this log source will have that static key added to their logs. Now, if we take a look at one of our pre-built log sources that I've configured previously, we have a Windows one. And looking through all the different uh, configurations, our applies to is applying to all Windows resources within Logic Monitor. I have specific exclude filters, so I'm going to exclude any audit success logs. And I'm also adding all of this additional log metadata. I'm adding the security ID, I'm adding the OS version, which is coming from an LM resource property, the source name, the log name of the channel, the uh, log level, and also the event ID. And then for resource mapping, I'm mapping it back to device ID. So let's take a look at what that looks like in LM logs. So we go to LM logs, I'm now going to look at just my Windows logs. And here we can see when I click onto the detail panel, I have the log source information, so my Windows event log type, the specific name, which collector is receiving these logs, and then I have the additional metadata that we've added. So I have my OS version, which again is pulling from the LM resource property, my log level, security, event ID, etc. These That metadata is also available within the logs field panel. Now it might be uh, collapsed by default, so you can pop that open and you'll be able to see a sampled uh, results of all of these information. So I can see for my Windows logs over the last hour, I have 82 security logs, 55 system logs, et cetera, and using this arrow will allow, we'll add it to my query bar. I can also add these as columns. So if I wanna add the specific information to columns, and then I can reorder them as well with this slider window here. So let's move channel up and you can see now my security application. So this is a way that we're able to start to make a more customized view of our log information. So that gives me now a quick look at, okay, I want to look at all system logs that were um, not information. I can then filter that out. Log sources can also be imported and exported to the LM exchange. This makes it simple to pull log con configurations for common device types. So if we look at here, here we have um, some example log sources that are available in the exchange. 
if I wanted to pull in, say, this API v4 one, for example, I can look at all the information and then download it just like I would a, another logic module. Logic Monitor will continue to add official log sources into the exchange, so keep an eye out for new ones. And then lastly, I just want to make a, a note that if you are sending syslog to a different collector than the monitoring collector, a preferred log collector is does need to be defined on that resource. So how that looks is if I go to the resource itself and I go to manage, I will then configure LM logs. I can enable or assign a collector group if these logs are being sent to multiple collectors. And then I also need to set the define the preferred log collector. This preferred log collector will um, allow you to send logs to multiple collectors and deduplicate those logs. The preferred log collector can also be applied in bulk at the group level. And it is recommended that the, the group level application is only one time and that the preferred log collector does not get stored at the group level, nor do they get inherited as new devices are added to the group. This is to avoid confusion and um, misalignment if a resource is a member of multiple groups and there'd be a conflict on which log collector should take precedent. So in summary, log sources are a new logic module designed to make log collection much easier. We're able to define log sources and apply them on specific resources for unique configurations and filters and make that information easier to filter and query within LM logs. Thank you.